everybody welcome back to my channel here so today I'm going to be talking with you all on my approach when it comes to drawing objects that are like right there in front of me and you could use this approach pretty much with just about anything that you desire to draw from objects that are right there in front of you okay before I get started, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Remember to turn on your post notifications so that you are notified when I do post here. For my current subscribers, I do want to thank you all for staying in tune with my videos and, you know, just keeping up with me because I know it's times I do drop off the track, but I do eventually pick back up and get back on the wagon here. All right, so let's get started. In front of me, I've got a pencil or marker holder. I've got a painting brush, a pencil sharpener, just several different things going on here. But for purposes of keeping this video not too long, we're just going to be focusing on doing our pencil holder for today. So my first approach when I look at this is, what is my basic shape? And I see, and you have to make this decision yourself. I see a cylinder type shape. And I'm gonna go in here and just kind of sketch the sand on my paper. Or maybe even a rectangle shape because of its elongated lines here. Right. So I'll go in here and create those lines. Okay, remember sketch very lightly. At the very top here, I've got a quite a slanted curve line going from the top down to the bottom left. I'm gonna go in here into my drawing and create that line. Remember this line is sloping downward, right? Sketch it in, slopes downward and then kind of curves back up towards the left. For the very bottom of my pencil holder here, I've got quite a curved line here at the very bottom as well. And I have a tendency to take the tip of my pencil and feel the line. And I feel a curved line, so I'm gonna go here and create that curved line and my drawing. Now at this point, I can kind of go in and darken in like the very foundation of my lines here. Take my eraser, erase any unnecessary lines that I don't need. Okay. Clean up a bit of my final lines, clean them up a little bit. And I'm going to cap off the top of my pencil holder here. And pretty much there you have it. You have the generalized shape of your pencil holder at this point. So if you think of, you know, if you look at objects again from a visual standpoint, you know, just basic shapes, approach it that way, I think you'll find it very useful, especially for beginners who are, you know, discovering a gift here in the very beginning stages of your journey. And you should be, you know, halfway down the road there. 
Thank you all so much for watching or tuning in to my channel again. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I hope this video is very useful for you again. Remember to turn on your post notifications so that you are notified when I do post new videos here. Until my next video, bye for now.